Hey, you want to see a trick? I could do magic. Yeah, it's gonna be really cool. Want to see? Watch. <laughs> And that is how you do magic. Hey there, how you doing? So we have a really cool story this week. We have a story that is mysterious. We have a story that is fantastical. We have a story that's even magical. There was a king, the king of Moab, who wanted to wipe out the Jewish people. The Jewish people were encamped in this area near the kingdom of Moab. And the king Balak wanted to wipe us out, but he didn't want to do it himself. So he hires a magician, a sorcerer, to come and curse the Jewish people. And he comes, it's a whole story, and he's looking out over the encampment, and he starts to curse the Jews. But then something fascinating happens. The words of curse that comes out of his mouth turn into blessing. And he tries this three times, and these words of curses that come out of his mouth turn into unbelievable blessings for the Jewish people. What, he was having a bad day? We need to take a look at what blessing actually is and what curses are. We have a very Hollywood-esque understanding of blessing and curses you know we think of lord of the rings and we think of harry potter blessings and curses have nothing to do with some magical incantation and then poof what's actually happening is that blessing and curses are two opposite sides of the same power and what this means is like this the word for blessing is bracha baruch ata hashem baruch Blessed. See, the word bracha has a similar word in Hebrew called brecha, which is a wellspring. And that when we give someone a blessing, we're saying we're connecting you to that wellspring of blessing that comes from up above. So what was going on here was the Jews were living in a time when everything was okay. And we were living connected and we were living happy, meaningful lives. So when Bilam came along to try to curse us, all that came out was blessing. This is a lesson that we can take in our own lives. Whatever happens in life, depending on how we process it, is how it's going to affect our lives. See, bad things happen uh, and good things happen. But if we're depressed, we're going to notice all the bad things happening to us. And the good things, the positive things, we're going we're gonna to gloss over and we're going to forget about it because we're so focused on negativity. We're so focused on, on the bad stuff. But when we're happy and we're living life well, so we're going to have gratitude and appreciation for the good things that happen to us, for the blessing that comes into our life. And even when curses come our way, we're going to look for the positive that's in it. Connect to the wellspring. Connect to the source of all life and all blessing. And when even bad things happen to us, and God forbid nothing should ever bad happen, we should stop and say, how am I going to connect to the wellspring anyway? How am I going to find the blessing in here? Hey there, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please press the like button down there. And please leave a comment below. And have an awesome week.